Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about transformer inefficiencies and how to deal with them. So in my last video I talked about some transformer calculations and I had a transformer that was only 83% efficient. And so here's my information here. I had 230 volts over this side and a current of 0.3. And on my secondary coil I had 23 volts but I only had 25 amps appearing. So if I actually look at the information here, using the formula to find the efficiency, so voltage on the secondary times current on the secondary, the voltage over the primary times current on the primary, I ended up with 83% efficient. Now, where did that current go? Why, why wasn't I making as much current as I was expecting? What I'm going to talk about today is how an engineer or a physicist can make sure that this doesn't happen and where they come from. So the first thing at the moment, I have got two coils and the magnetic fields are going through the air. Now, what I could do is use a material that actually was inherently magnetic to support those magnetic fields, to make it easier for those magnetic fields to flow, okay? Much like capacitors and putting a dielectric in, this is the same kind of concept. I am going to use, to make this more efficient, I'm going to use an iron core to make it easier to propagate magnetic fields. So the air is a really inefficient way of a magnetic field to exist. If I channel that magnetic field through a magnetic material like iron, I, it becomes more efficient. So a transformer will look more like this. So here's my coils and I'm going to put a magnetic core in it. So this here is an iron core. And what that is going to do is it's going to help promote those magnetic field lines to basically make it more efficient. So that's one way that I can remove this inefficiency. But how else? Now my magnetic core, okay, is a 3D shape. And though it is helping the magnetic field lines propagate into the other coil, sometimes this can go a little bit off piste. Now remember from Faraday's law that everything likes to be perpendicular to each other. And in a 3D object, if I draw this sketch here, so if you can imagine, this is my core, okay? Nice and 3D object there. Okay, I'm just gonna draw a joint line there to help me. If you can imagine, these field lines are not gonna go in nice straight lines. They're gonna end up going whoosh like that, or whoosh like that, okay? Which means they're not gonna cut the coil at right angles, given that maximum force, maximum magnetic field. So a way I can induce this, okay? The way that I can do this is by laminating the core. So I can laminate my core. And what I mean by this is, if I took my 3D shape again, I'm only just gonna look at the top, is I basically make these layers here, where this part is the iron, and this part here, this bit in the middle, is a non-magnetic material. So 
this doesn't propagate any magnetic fields, which means only the magnetic fields will follow or f propagate in these graphs here. And it's almost like funneling the magnetic fields. So they're going to cross the coil at right angles, which is what you want. If it doesn't, okay, if not laminated, These lines that I showed you before that are going off in all sorts of directions. Lamin, oops, I can't spell. Laminated. It, it can cause something called eddy currents in the core. And what an eddy current is, it's much easier to explain from an aerodynamic point of view. This here is what I call laminar flow. This is when the air is flowing over a wing foil lovely and nicely. However, you can get something like this. Okay, these little vortices, things where things are going slightly off piece, not going in the lines that I like, these are called eddy currents, it's turbulence. And what it's saying here in a core, if I didn't have these laminated bits here, the field would go off in all different directions, which would cause all sorts of electrons to go off in different directions, much like this air here, which is going to cause inefficiencies. So by laminating the core and allowing these funnels, I am forcing the magnetic field line to make sure it hits the core at right angles, meaning I have a nice flow of electrons in near enough a uniform direction rather than these eddy currents here. Okay, so what I can do to improve my efficiency, of course, is first of all put a core in it, making it easier for those magnetic field lines to actually even propagate to the other coil. This one is about something to deal with the core. I'm going to take that core and I'm going to laminate it to make sure those magnetic field lines are crossing that, um, the coil at right angles for me to get my maximum out of my um, change in flux. And that there are inefficiencies and how to deal with them with transformers.